What if I told you there's a machine that can fly faster than sound, carry more bombs than a B-52, and evade enemy radar with ease? A machine so powerful and versatile that it's been both banned by international treaties and cancelled twice due to controversy. Welcome to the world of the B-1 Lancer, known affectionately as the Bone. And welcome back to Skyward Fighter. In this video, we'll dive into the secrets of this incredible aircraft, the last of the American swing wings. From its unexpected origins to its crucial role in modern conflicts, the B-1 Lancer story is more than just metal and machinery. This is a legend, a marvel of engineering that combines unmatched speed and firepower. A plane that can strike anywhere, anytime, with devastating accuracy and efficiency. A plane that has proven itself in countless missions, from the Cold War to the War on Terror. A plane that is feared by its enemies and loved by its pilots. But how did this plane come to be? What challenges did it face along the way? What makes it so special and unique? And how did the U.S. Air Force shock Russia with this ultimate bomber? The B-1 Lancer, also known as the Bone, is one of three strategic bombers in the U.S. Air Force fleet, alongside the B-2 Spirit and the B-52 Stratofortress. The bomber was first envisioned in the 1960s as a platform that would combine the Mach 2 speed of the B-58 Hustler with the range and payload of the B-52, ultimately meant to replace both bombers. However, the program was canceled in 1977 after the B-1A prototypes had been built due to high costs, the introduction of the cruise missile, and the development of the stealth bomber. But the B-1 Lancer wasn't dead yet. The program was restarted in 1981, largely as an interim measure due to delays in the B-2 stealth bomber program. The B-1A design was altered, reducing top speed to Mach 1.25 at high altitude, increasing low altitude speed to Mach 0.96, and improving electronic components. The airframe was upgraded to carry more fuel and weapons. Dubbed the B-1B, deliveries of the new variant began in 1985, and it formally entered service with Strategic Air Command in 1986. Since then, the B-1 bomber has proven itself as a versatile and reliable aircraft capable of performing various missions such as interdiction, offensive counter-air, close air support, air-to-surface missile delivery, and strategic bombing. The B-1 Lancer has supported U.S. and NATO military forces in several conflicts, including Operation Desert Fox in 1998, Operation Allied Force in 1999, Operation Enduring Freedom in 2001, Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, Operation Odyssey Dawn in 2011, and Operation Inherent Resolve in 2014. But what makes the B-1 bomber so formidable and feared by its adversaries? Let's take a look at some of its key features and specifications. The B-1B has a crew of four, a pilot, a co-pilot, an offensive systems officer, and a defensive systems officer. It has a length of 146 feet, a wingspan of 137 feet at 15 to grind sweep, and a height of 34 feet. The variable sweep wing allows it to adjust its shape and performance according to flight conditions, enabling it to fly at both low and high altitudes and at subsonic or supersonic speeds. Powered by four General Electric F101 GE102 turbofan engines, each producing 30,780 pounds of thrust with afterburner, the B-1B has a maximum speed of Mach 1.25 at high altitude and Mach 0.96 at low altitude. It has a combat radius of 2,993 miles with a 75,000-pound payload and a ferry range of 7,455 miles with aerial refueling. The B-1 Lancer has a service ceiling of 60,000 feet and a rate of climb of 6,000 feet per minute. But the most impressive feature of the B-1 bomber is its payload. It boasts the largest internal payload of any current bomber, with three internal weapon bays that can carry up to 75,000 pounds of ordnance. The B-1B can carry a variety of weapons, including gravity bombs, cluster bombs, precision-guided munitions, cruise missiles, and nuclear weapons. 
The B-1 Lancer also features sophisticated avionics and electronic warfare systems, including the AN-APQ-164 radar, which provides terrain-following, air-to-ground, and air-to-air -air modes. With all these features and capabilities, the B-1 Lancer is a formidable force to be reckoned with. But how did the U.S. Air Force shock Russia with the B-1B? On May 29, 2023, two B-1 bombers from the 28th Bomb Wing at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota conducted a long-range strategic bomber task force mission to the Black Sea region. The B-1s flew over 12,000 miles in a round trip, supported by KC-135 Stratotanker aerial refueling aircraft from the 100th Air Refueling Wing at RAF Mildenhall in England. The B-1 Lancers also integrated with F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-15E Strike Eagle Fighter jets. The B-1 bombers demonstrated their ability to operate in a complex and contested environment and project power across great distances. They conducted a mock bombing run over Romania, dropped inert bombs on a training range, and flew over the Black Sea, where they were intercepted by Russian Su-27 and Su-30 fighter jets. The B-1Bs maintained a safe distance and continued their mission without incident, showcasing their speed, power, and interoperability with other U.S. and NATO assets. This mission was a clear message to Russia and its allies that the U.S. Air Force is ready and able to deter aggression and defend its interests and allies in the region. The bomber mission showcased the B-1B's unmatched capabilities and left Russia stunned by its performance. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing content on incredible aircraft. Until next time, stay tuned for more insights into the world of aviation.